Human beings need a lot of things to feel alive. Family. Love. Sex. But we only need one thing. To actually be alive. Where can we? Is he? We're barely beating. We need to call code. I can't feel a pulse. One bright sunny morning. In the kingdom ruled by the Queen, otherwise known as Great Britain, the Galameter was born! Using his ultra superpowers, Augustus Desire Waller created an instrument that can measure electrical current, such as the one that is appearing on the screen now. But in the early 1900s, it was a scientist Einthoven that combined electrogram and cardiogram to make electrocardiogram! It was also during this time that the size and weight was greatly reduced from over 600 pounds to 30 pounds. The EKG has been through many transformations, but today an electrocardiogram, also called an EKG or an ECG, is a simple painless test that records the heart's electrical activity. Oh no, but wait, what's going on? Benny, wake up, Benny. What's happening? I'm pumping harder, I don't know. He's flatlined. No, 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 he's not flatlined. There's movement in his heart. Okay, um, uh, uh, let's shock him. Uh, charge the defibrillator. Ventilate, George! I am. Charge you to 200. You got it? Yeah. Clear! 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 Danny's heart condition has caused his heart to stop beating. We can help revive him by solving the following problem. Let's do it! So, what's the problem? The EKG reports that Danny's heartbeat is traveling in the positive X direction with a wavelength of 20 centimeters and an amplitude of 10 centimeters. Determine the frequency that would be applied by the defibrillator if the speed of the electrical current that is recorded is 30 beats per second. Frequency? Amplitude? Wavelength? What? Okay, okay, okay. Let's break it down. Frequency is the number of complete oscillations it makes each second. F equals 1 over T. Amplitude, on the other hand, is the maximum distance that the object moves from equilibrium or the center of the point. And lastly, wavelength is the shortest distance between points where the wave pattern repeats itself. Lambda equals V over F. Got it? In this problem, we are looking for the appropriate frequency. So, we would need to use the equation lambda equals V over F with V representing velocity and F representing frequency. First, we would need to find our known factors. The wavelength is 20 centimeters, while the velocity is 30 meters per second. Then, we will plug in our known values to the equation. Because lambda equals wavelength, we will plug in 20 centimeters for lambda, while we will plug in 30 meters per second for V velocity. Finally, we would switch F with wavelength in order to determine the frequency. After calculations, the frequency necessary to rejuvenate Danny would be 1.5 Hz. Congratulations! You have just helped save Danny's life.